Hello, welcome back. We have a measurement video now on the surface area of a triangular prism. Surface area of a solid is the sum of all the areas of all the faces. Our steps are to find the area of each face. Now, different faces uh, can be different shapes, so we'll have to be careful what formula we use. But we can find the area of each face carefully and add up all those areas to get a total surface area. That's our aim. Let's have a look at a triangular prism here. We have a base of 4, we have a height of 3 metres, we have a slopey sort of length down the back there of 5 metres, and of course that's uh, on a front bit as well, front edge, and um, we have uh, the prism going back 8 metres altogether. Let's see how we process that for surface area. Now we'll set our work out nice and carefully here. We've got to identify which shapes we're working on, uh, so we don't miss any or double up on any. Now we have a triangle triangle area at the front. You can see it here. So there's a triangle area down the front here. And uh, of course, we'll multiply that by 2 because I think not only at the front do you have a triangle area, you have one of exactly the same size on the back there as well. That's why we're multiplying it by 2. So if we find the area of one of those, we can just double it. And we've also got a rectangular area on the floor. Let's colour that one in. It's the floor area. We'll also add to that the area of the left-hand wall. Let me do my colouring in. I'm quite enjoying it. The left-hand wall at the back there. And we also have uh, a slopey rectangle. Uh, a bit like a slide here. Or a ramp to jump off on your bike. Don't try this at home. Okay, to find the triangle area, we've got half the base times the perpendicular height. Half of the base times the perpendicular height to find a triangle. And we said there was another one on the other side, on the other uh, the back wall as well. So we'll times that by 2. So that gives us a total of 12 units there for just the two triangles. Now let's go to the rectangular floor area. Can, see, can you see the dimensions of that? Now a rectangle is length times breadth. So that'll be just 4 times 8, 32. Let's then switch our attention to the back wall, the left wall. It's uh, a height of 3 and because this is 8 here, we have an 8 length here and an 8 length down the back there too. So can you see that that left hand wall is 3 times 8, which is 24 usually. Check on your calculator. And we have a slopey section, that ramp section there on the slope is 5 times 8. So be careful with all your dimensions. But those last three are rectangular areas, so 5 times 8 is 40. So that the two triangles there, we're doing half the base times the height for one triangle. And that was the formula of a triangle, half the base times the height. We had two, two triangles, so we multiplied it by 2. But the rest of our calculations was just rectangles, length times breadth each time. So we set our work out nice and carefully so we don't get confused and we labelled everything as well. See on this left hand side we've got labels for everything so we don't uh, get lost really in all the numbers. Can't just write all the numbers down, well you could, but it's too easy to get lost. Put labels on everything and work everything out one bit at a time. If we added up all those uh, right hand uh, answers there we'd have 108 as our number answer. Can you think what units we might be using? Remember for area we use square units. In the question we had metres and if we're Working with metres and we need square units, we'll put those two together and have square metres for our answer. So we found the area of each face, sometimes using a different formula to the other ones, but uh, we were careful about our setting out and we added up all the areas at the end and we're using square units. Total surface area there, 108 metres squared or square metres. So, our steps were, we found the area of each face, being careful what formula we used for each, depending on its shape, and then we added up all the areas at the end. Alright, that's the uh, surface area of uh, triangular prisms. See you next time. Uh, also check out peterblakemaths.com if you need some more help with your maths. Thanks, catch you next time, bye.